Have you ever pondered how a single journey could change the course of history? In the heart of Venice in the year 1271, a young man named Marco Polo embarked on a journey that would etch his name into the annals of exploration forever. Marco Polo was not your ordinary Venetian. He was born into a family of merchants, with a thirst for adventure that was as vast as the seas he would come to traverse. At the tender age of 17, he set forth from his beloved Venice leaving the familiar behind for the allure of the unknown. His journey was no ordinary trek, it was a daring expedition through the rugged landscapes of the Middle East and Central Asia, two regions of the world largely unknown to the Western mind at the time. Winding through deserts over mountains and across vast plains, Marco Polo journeyed farther than any of his contemporaries dared to imagine. His travels were filled with the sights, sounds and scents of foreign lands. He encountered cultures and peoples vastly different from his own, each with their unique traditions and ways of life. Undeterred by the challenges that lay before him, Marco Polo pressed on, his spirit of adventure undiminished. After years of travel, Marco Polo finally arrived in China, a land shrouded in mystery and intrigue to the Western world. Here he would spend the next two decades immersing himself in the local culture, learning the language, and documenting his experiences with a level of detail that would leave a lasting impact on the world's understanding of this distant land. Yet, for all his travels and experiences, Marco Polo was just at the beginning of his journey. The young Venetian was not yet done with his adventures, he had seen much but there was still much to see, still much to learn, still much to experience. This young Venetian was just getting started on his epic journey. Imagine traversing through deserts, mountains and foreign lands all in the pursuit of adventure. This was the reality for the intrepid explorer Marco Polo. His journey was far from a leisurely stroll. It was filled with hardships and challenges that would make most of us quiver. Marco Polo's travels took him along the legendary Silk Road, a vast network of trade routes stretching from the Mediterranean Sea to the far reaches of China. This wasn't just a road, but a lifeline of culture, goods, and ideas. It was a pathway that connected the East to the West, and Marco Polo was right in the heart of it, braving its perils and reaping its rewards. The Silk Road was more than just a means to an end for Polo. It was a living, breathing entity filled with vibrant markets, bustling caravans, and a myriad of people from different cultures. Polo's interactions with the locals gave him a unique insight into their lives, their traditions, and their stories. He didn't just pass through these lands, he immersed himself in them, learning and absorbing every bit of knowledge he could. From the scorching deserts to the icy mountain ranges, every step of Polo's journey was an adventure. Every person he met, every market he visited, and every challenge he overcame added another layer to his remarkable tale. The Silk Road was just one part of Marco Polo's incredible journey. But what an important part it was, shaping not only his experiences, but the course of history itself. What would you do if you were suddenly in the court of the most powerful ruler of your time? Imagine being Marco Polo, the Venetian explorer, stepping into the grandeur of the Mongol Empire, under the rule of Kublai Khan, a world of mystery and fascination, this was not just a place of power, but a melting pot of cultures, technologies, and economic systems. Marco Polo found himself in a position of unique influence and responsibility. Kublai Khan was a ruler who appreciated knowledge and insights from far and wide. Recognizing Marco Polo's worldly experience, he appointed him as an emissary to his vast empire. This gave Marco Polo an unprecedented access to witness the inner workings of the Mongol Empire. Through his keen eyes Marco recorded intricate details of Chinese culture. He marveled at their advanced technologies, from the production of porcelain, the use of coal, to the creation of paper money. He was astounded by their bustling economy, the extent of trade and the efficiency of their postal system. Marco's records reveal a society that was far more advanced than most of Europe at the time, his accounts provided the Western world with their first comprehensive look into the East, shattering preconceived notions and sparking curiosity about this distant land. Marco Polo's time in China was a period of learning and discovery. His experiences at the court of Kublai Khan serve as a testament to the rich tapestry of cultures and technologies that have shaped the world we know today. How would you feel returning home after being away for 24 years? Imagine Marco Polo's sense of relief, and perhaps a tinge of sadness, as he finally saw the familiar sights of his beloved Venice, after a long and perilous journey. Upon his return however, Marco was met with disbelief from his fellow Venetians. 
they found his tales of grandeur, of a world far beyond their imagination, hard to swallow. His stories about the magnificence of the Mongol Empire, the wealth of the Silk Road, and the exotic lands he had traversed, seemed like figments of an overly active imagination. The Venetians, insular and skeptical, were not ready to accept the vastness and diversity of the world that Marco Polo unveiled. In a twist of fate, Marco was imprisoned during a conflict between Venice and Genoa. It was in the confines of his cell that his adventures found a new life. He narrated his travels to a fellow prisoner, Rusticello da Pisa, a writer by profession. As Marco's vivid descriptions unfolded, Rusticello penned them down, giving birth to The Travels of Marco Polo. This book, filled with tales of Marco's incredible journey, would go on to change the way the world was perceived. Marco Polo's legacy is immense. His daring and relentless exploration of the unknown world opened up new horizons for trade and cultural exchange. His accounts, though met with skepticism initially, sparked an insatiable curiosity about the East in the minds of Europeans. They paved the way for future explorers, including Christopher Columbus, who carried a copy of Marco's book on his voyage to the New World. Marco Polo's journey is a testament to the power of exploration in the human spirit. His audacious spirit, his unwavering curiosity, and his ability to embrace the unknown have left an indelible mark on history. His tales continue to inspire us, reminding us that the world is a vast, fascinating place waiting to be explored. Remember, every 